Hello, and I would like to welcome you to the SwampBook.com website. My name is Mark Seelinger, and this is a quick little rundown on how to use an ELGG uh, social network, and this is what SwampBook is built on, but it is specifically a wetland social network, and this network is, is dedicated to folks interested in wetlands and environmental issues. So first off, we're going to go to SwampBook.com, and you'll see this little page when you get here, and you'll see Login, and we're going to log in and this is going to take us to our entry page. Now if you're a new user you're given the option to register so we're going to click on register and it's going to give you a display name this is what you want to be called uh, your email address and this email address needs to be valid because we're going to be sending you a confirmation email to that address as soon as you register a username a password and then they just gonna ask you to verify that again and then one of these little code things that so that we can tell that you're not a bot and you just need to type that in and if you mess it up it'll make you do it over again and then you hit register and that's it now it may take a couple minutes for the email to show up sometimes email servers work really fast and you get them right away sometimes it takes 10 minutes so and just be patient it will it will come <laughs> so uh, at any rate that's your registration now once you're in the site we're gonna go back now I've set up a little demonstration for you so this is oops, spell it right would be helpful. Okay, we've logged in. Now, when we first come up with this, there's a, a widgets page, and you're going to have some options here to edit things. Now when you first log in, some folks are having trouble with this already, there's going to be a little grayed out guy up here and this essentially is your profile. Just click this and this is going to take you to your profile and then you can edit your profile and put in a little bit about yourself and each one of these gives you the option of keeping it private which means nobody gets to see it, friends, only your friends can see it, anybody who's logged in but it's not necessarily a friend can see it or the entire public can see it whether they're logged in or not so you have the choice for each one of these categories it does give you a little ability to put a little HTML code in here a brief description about yourself where you're located what your interests are skills again a contact email a telephone number mobile phone website all these things are optional you don't have to put anything in if you don't want uh, but I will suggest, you know, the website, if you do host a blog or website, definitely let us know about it. And, you know, put, click that in at least to friends uh, for that one. So we want to we want to know about what you're doing. And then as far as the going back to the icon, if you don't like now this is an icon that we just popped in here. But if you want to add another icon and change it, you can you just basically upload the icon and then browse and then you can create your own avatar. So that's that stuff. Now, the tools. The big thing that most folks like to use is what's called the wire. And if you're familiar with Twitter or Facebook, the equivalent in Twitter would just basically be the Twitter 140 uh, character post. Or in Facebook, this would be your wall. But essentially, this is where you would be posting whatever you're going to be talking about or whatever you're interested in, whatever's going on. And you're, depending upon your permissions, usually your, your friends are the only ones that see this. So you can see I have lots of friends. Mostly I've been posting here, but I've got some friends going on and actually a couple of folks even helping each other get themselves squared away on the, the post. So that's very cool. There are other tools in here. You can have your own blog. So we, we click on blog and you can set up your own blog. So you can write a blog post. You can add some stuff to it. So if you want to write a blog post, this is going to create your own blog. You give it a title and a blog text, and you're now a blogger. And you can also, again, set the permissions who wants to see it. So lots of cool stuff here. Uh, you can upload some certain files, bookmarks. You can bookmark things, and you can share those bookmarks with your friends. You're, again, the same issue here. We can put a bookmark on here, so I'll click this one. And if you want to add a bookmark, you click it, put the title in. This is the URL. A description if you want any tags and again you can set your access permission so each one of these is gives you a choice there now the dashboard itself it starts out blank and you can edit this and you're gonna get this widget gallery and these are all things that you can pick up and grab so let's say I want to put the wire on my dashboard so I'm gonna put that over on the left side and I want to know about a blog I'll put that over here and maybe an RSS feed or something that I might want to set up over there and I can put maybe some files in the middle so let's drop that one in there hit save 
and then when I go to my dashboard, that's what I'm going to see. So that sets up your dashboard. So you have your choice of whatever you want, want to put on there, and you can add. And we'll be adding more widgets as time goes on. The other thing that you can do is send emails to people that are within the group. You can uh, basically compose a message, click it on here, and then you just pick whoever you're, whoever this. In this case, the email would be sent to a friend. So in this case, I haven't made any friends yet. So <laughs> we've got a, but you'd click on a friend, and you can send that directly to them. So you can send a direct message to them. Other things to any other tools you can have, um, basically di two different places, either off the dashboard or off this. Uh, it's the same thing. And then if you've got any settings you want to change, you can always go back. And this would be if you want to change your password, if you want to change your email, um, any of that kind of stuff. You can you can throw that in there. So those are the basics of it. And when you're all done, you just log out and you're good. Now it's going to give you this little information bar every now and again. Sometimes if you do something wrong, there's a red. And if you get something you've done right, you get a green. And on the front page, as long as you have an icon loaded up, you'll be listed in here as newest member. So here we have our demo demo one here. So your newest members are always on the front page. And then we put some stuff on, on blog posts and things. And you can decide if you want people to see this um, publicly, this will also show up. So you'll end up in this stream as well. So this is a really good way to promote some of your blog information to, to the group. So that's it. So I hope you enjoy the, the, the program. Again, it's called swapbook.com. And check it out. It's completely free. And it's a lot of fun to use. Thanks, and have a great day.